months before leaving office, US President Joe Biden has lifted restrictions that prevented Kyiv from using the Army Tactile Missile Systems or ATACMS for strikes deep into Russian territory that could also help defend its territorial gains in Russia's Kursk region. Washington had previously feared that allowing Ukraine to strike further into Russian territory would escalate the war, embroiling the US and other Western powers deeper into the conflict and possibly even provoking a nuclear response from Moscow. But then on Tuesday, those missiles were used for the very first time to strike inside Russian territory. After Biden's authorization to use these powerful long-range American weapons inside Russia, Ukrainian forces carried out their first strike on the border region in Russia, targeting a military facility. This latest development has only heightened global tension. Meanwhile, Russian officials have repeatedly alleged how Western support for Ukraine amounts to direct involvement in the war. It is the second time now that Washington has expanded Ukraine's authority to use its US-provided weapon systems inside Russian territory. Now let's tell you about the Atakum missiles. The Army Tactical Missile System, or ATACMS, as they are known as, was created during the Cold War to strike Soviet targets, but were first used during the 1990-1991 Gulf War. Ukraine has been using these attackums on Russian targets in occupied Ukrainian territory for more than a year now. They have already been used by Kyiv during the war in Ukraine, but only on targets in Russian-occupied areas such as Crimea and Donbass region. Ukrainian forces used the US supplies long-range attacker missiles for the very first time in October 2023, with President Zelensky at that time saying that these weapons had quote-unquote proven themselves. American munitions and hardware are already being used inside Russia, especially in the Kursk border region, according to local reports. But the US has never really allowed Kyiv to use the attackums inside Russia until now. Ukraine had argued that not being allowed to use such weapons inside Russia was like being asked to fight with one hand tied behind its back. This sudden change in policy reportedly comes in response to the recent arrival of the North Korean troops to support Russia in the Kursk region, where Ukraine has occupied territory since August. So what are attackums? Well, the Army Tactical Missile System is a surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missile capable of hitting targets up to 300 kilometers, and it is their range that makes them particularly important for Ukraine. Built by the defense manufacturer Lockheed Martin, they are fired from either the tracked M270 multiple launch rocket systems or the wheeled M142 high mobility artillery rocket systems. Each missile costs around $1.5 million. And these missiles are fueled by solid rocket propellant and they follow a ballistic path into the atmosphere before coming down at a very high speed and high angle, making them very difficult to intercept. They can also be configured to carry two different types of warheads. The first is a cluster that's fitted with hundreds of bomblets designed to destroy lighter armoured units over a wide area. And these might include parked aircraft, air defences and concentrations of troops. Cluster warheads, while useful, do risk leaving behind unexploded bomblets, which then pose a very long risk after the fighting has even stopped. The second type is a single warhead. That is a 225 kg high explosive variant of which is designed to destroy hardened facilities and larger structures. 1,000 days, I, I think it's enough to understand that Putin doesn't want any peace. Let's now tell you the effect of these attackums. Now, Ukraine may use attackums to defend against the assaults targeting Russian positions, including military bases, infrastructure and in particular ammunition storage. These weapons may grant Ukraine some advantage at a time when Russian troops have also been gaining ground in the country's east and the morale being rather low. Well, Ukraine hopes that these weapons would help blunt Russia's air power and weaken the supply lines that it needs to launch daily strikes against Ukraine and to sustain its military ground offensive into Ukraine. These recent events have sparked massive concerns in the United States and across Europe over the potential escalation of Russia's hybrid following Ukraine's use of the US-backed and made attackums. Well, the use of these missiles has marked a significant shift in the conflict, which has now prompted fears that Russia just might intensify its asymmetric warfare strategies globally that will undoubtedly have devastating consequences.